Hey guys, what's up, it's Iflin here, and today we're going to be talking about my Ivara stealth build. Now, there's a lot of different ways to build Ivara for stealth, and basically there's a lot of different ways to build Ivara. She's just like a versatile frame. She can be somewhat of a damage dealer because you can use the mods of your primary weapon for your Artemis bow. You can go stealth uh, via your, you know, your bow and arrows abilities and, you know, your, your third ability as well. She has uh, this navigation thing where you can control the arrow and stuff. It's pretty cool. You can just put it through the floor, things like that there. She's a really awesome stealth frame. Like, she's a super cool concept. And, uh, yeah, I feel like there's no reason not to pick her up. Uh, especially saying that she's so easy to get as well. So, um, like I said, there's two ways to build Ivara. Well, multiple ways. But we're going to be talking about the stealth build today. And going over the sort of basics of it. Now, this is the type of build that I would run on it. You can, again, swap a few things out on this build. Um, it's just, you, like, you don't need to have a lot. Like, you can do other things, like, maybe put on narrow-minded, have less range, but you'll get what I mean whenever it comes down to, um, basically seeing what the abilities do, really. Now, I like to use Ivara to solo interception, so that's why I have Overextend and Stretch on here, as well as maybe Cutting Drift as well here. And basically what that does, that increases the radius of all my different arrows, okay? So, Ivara has the ability to swap through all the different arrows, as you can see here in the right-hand corner. So you have the Cloak Arrow, Dash Wire, Noise Arrow, and Sleep Arrow. So they all have sort of like a range of effect, right? So if we go ahead and we spawn in like 20 Butchers, okay? Spawn in the Butchers, we spawn in 20 of them. What you'll see with these arrows is that you're able to shoot them and they'll affect like a certain range. So because we have the max range on, we can put all those enemies asleep with our sleep bar. We can do the same here and way over here, implying I spawn them all in. And there you go, they're all asleep. And that opens them up to finisher attacks as well. Uh, you can also use the sleep, uh, not the sleep arrow, but the noise arrow to attract the enemies to a certain location, right? So if we just go ahead and get some energy here, what we can do is we can go ahead, hold them one, and the enemies, if I wasn't detected, they would make their way towards said arrow so let's just go ahead and uh get all of our energy up spawn these guys in again go ahead go invisible with our free and then we can use our noise arrow to attract them to one location like so which makes it great for interceptions so if you're not detected by enemies you can use this here to grip all of the enemies up as you can see right here they're all being grouped up like so pretty cool just like an average stealth game you know you just grip them all up and then you put them all to sleep with one arrow and then you can keep these guys in a constant loop of being CC'd. It's pretty awesome. So, you know, all you have to do is watch the little timer on the right-hand side. And if you get bored of, like, wasting your energy with your free to stay stealth, you can shoot a cloak arrow down here. And then go out if you're free so it doesn't drain your energy. So all you have to do would be keep up this, swap free to your cloak arrow again, put down another cloak arrow, sleep arrow, and just keep on going in that loop. And that's pretty awesome, right? That's all you have to do. And then you'd be able to solo an interception that way, apart from that one guy who's all the way over there, which we can kill by uh, activating our two, doing this, and then just going free him. Then also you can kill a lot of these guys as well, but doing the exact same thing, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so that is her abilities. That's what I use them for. So like I mentioned, there's two different ways of going invisible. You have your Cloak Arrow, which you can do this here, or you have your third ability, which is like a drain over time, which this build is pretty optimus for as well. And that will also allow you to steal stuff from your enemies, uh, implying you have a decent amount of strength and stuff on the build. You can steal energy and stuff from them, and that's uh, pretty cool. And uh, putting them to sleep opens them up to finisher attacks like so, so you can amplify your damage, which is why I recommend running a dagger with Ivara, making her like a pretty cool damage dealer as well. And you also have your fourth ability, Artemis Bill, which you can use on all the asleep enemies to basically one-shot them. Because this is going to take mods off your uh, off your primary weapon, which is why I recommend using a Dread with Ivara. Because the build that you have on the Dread is probably going to be like pretty good for Artemis Bill, right? So this is the build I use in the Dread, just for an example right here. This is my Grenier build. Obviously, you can swap uh, things in and out, so you could swap this Prime Bane of Grenier for something else like... Maybe uh, Blade It Rounds or something, or even Shred if you're ballsy enough. If you don't want to have a uh, Speed Trigger on there, you can swap it around. Um, it's just completely up to you, to be completely honest with you. Um, so yeah, let's go through and look at the Avara build just a little bit again. So we have Prime Continuity on here, we have Streamline on. Uh, that's going to be alright for our Drain and our third ability. Constitution on here for the Duration. Prime Continuity also works for the Duration on your Arrows too. Uh, we have Speed Drift on here, I don't know. I don't really know if this actually you know speeds up the... 
the uh, the casting speed. Obviously, you can replace this with something else if you so choose. So you can just go ahead and change that out for something like maybe an intensify. If you want to have that there on, that will increase the stats off your um, what's it called over here? So your let's see, is it prowl? The steel time? I don't know, something like that there, uh, or the extra loot. I don't know, something like that. Basically, the 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 stats highlighted in red would be the stats that would be increased. So let's see, extra loot percentage 40. And if you go ahead and you put on intensify, it would be increased up to 70. That right, if I'm not mistaken. And my eyes weren't deceiving me there for a second. So yeah, it goes up to 70, which is pretty cool. You also obviously get your headshot multiplier going up and all these different things. Damage multiplier. You know, there's a lot of different things on there which uh, you can take into consideration. Your damage will go up and your items build. So, you know, you can throw Intensify on there if you so choose. It's really just personal preference, that one. You have different augments which you can throw on as well. But personally, I don't use those as of now. Um, but, you know, there's just a lot of different things you can do with Ivara. She's a super, super um, do-whatever-you-want kind of frame, right? So, you know, I have my max range on there for the maximum range effects and all my arrows. Streamline, prime continuity, constitution for the drain, prime flu on here to have extra energy, speed drift on here because I think that speeds up casting time, I'm not too sure, so I just have it on anyway, endurance drift for the extra energy, energy siphon so I get my energy regen, and that's really all it's about, you know, I don't have fleeting expertise on here because that would minus my, um, minus my duration, so that's why that isn't on, and yeah, I just think Ivara is a kick-ass frame, and you should definitely 110% Go ahead and pick her up if you have the chance. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button below. And you'll see more Warframe content from me. Hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.